morning. It's uh, January 25th, 2013, and I'm Robert Carroll. I'm the Transportation Services Manager for the City of Grand Prairie. And if you're lucky enough to live on a cul-de-sac in Grand Prairie, you're probably familiar with uh, the mound of snow that's in the middle of your cul-de-sac after we have a uh, uh, heavy snowfall winter like we've had so far this year. Um, as we're doing right now, we're loading out this pile. Um, and uh, each of these piles can contain anywhere from from 10 up to 30 loads of, of snow. So it uh, gives you some idea of the effort involved in getting these piles removed. Uh, and, and also at last count, I believe that we have approximately 400 of these piles across the city. So it takes a heck of a lot of effort to remove these and a heck of a lot of time and uh, machine power to do it. Um, I know they do get in the way of, uh, of uh, you know, the normal operation of the cul-de-sac. It's uh, difficult uh, sometimes for garbage trucks to get through and uh, even for, uh, for on-street parking and vehicles to get in. They, they do tend to get in the way, but uh, with the limited amount of storage on the side of the road in cul-de-sacs, uh, uh, it's really the only option for uh, storing the snow is to pile it up in the middle and leave it until we can get in there and uh, remove it. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, we, we don't uh, continuously haul these snow piles away. This is uh, more of an operation that takes place once we get caught up with removing snow off the road and removing snow out of our parking lots. It's, uh, it's an operation that we do. Such time as now where uh, we haven't had significant amounts of snow in a while and um, and we're, we're able to uh, have our, our streets cleared and we can get in and remove these piles. Uh, you know, they do cause a, somewhat of a safety hazard also. Uh, uh, if, uh, if it's too high, obviously you have sight distances and, and kids, uh, you know, see a big pile of snow in the cul-de-sac, it's obviously a, a place where they want to go and uh, make snow forts and play and all that. But, uh, you know, we discourage that. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's probably not a good thing for, for parents to encourage uh, you know, especially uh, it, it is a pile of snow on the road. There's vehicles that uh, are obviously, uh, you know, coming in and moving out and around. And uh, sometimes you can't see little kitties who may be on the, uh, on the pile playing. So uh, strongly recommend the parents uh, encourage their kids not to play on these piles. And uh, uh, we, we will get around to removing them all. Um, obviously, we're working quite hard on them right now. Uh, we've got uh, three crews removing them in different parts of the city, uh, working for probably 16 hours a day trying to haul them away. But uh, as I said earlier, it's a significant amount of work required. Uh, it takes a lot of time, uh, and uh, we do get around to doing it, but um, it's, a, it's an effort that involves uh, uh, a lot of our equipment, a lot of our, our, our manpower to do it. So. If you're getting frustrated about the pile on your cul-de-sac, um, this gives you a little bit of information why it's still there, I guess, and uh, a little bit of information about the way our program works with removing them. And uh, hope this helps a little bit. Thank you.